Hey guys, how's it going? Krippelsini here. Today we are going to talk about Ripple and the price prediction of 2018. Well, as of now, Ripple just surpassed Bitcoin Cash with a huge bull run the last few days. Actually, since Monday, so today is Friday the 15th, and since Monday the 11th of December, the market cap has tripled, which for such a big currency overall is a really massive movement. So, I explained why this happened in my previous video, but it happened because uh, Asian and Japan, or J Japan and South Korean banks, are starting payment trials via the Ripple network. That means that banks, and in fact, I think it's actually about 62 banks, uh, 61 banks, using the Ripple network. Actually, not using it, but uh, testing the Ripple network right now. And they are also considering using Ripple as a currency. So today is the big day for Ripple where banks are starting the trials. And if those trials succeed and these banks start using the Ripple network, this could really mean a lot for Ripple. And to talk about the price. So, we have a circulating supply of about 9, 39 billion coins. So, we are just assuming that the circulating supply uh, stays the same throughout the next year, which obviously isn't the case, but to make this easier right now. So, we have a market cap of 31.5 billion and a price of 0 0.8 dollars. If we want the market cap, um, I mean, if you want the price of $10, we can calculate the market cap we would need. So we would take 38,739,144,847 uh, ripple in circulation multiplied, multiplied by, oops, multiplied by the price we want, which would be $10. So, the market cap we needed would be 387 billion, 391 million dollars. That's more than Bitcoin right now. So, if Ripple wants to get to the $10 with the same supply, it would have to surpass Bitcoin, which would be a real tough task to fulfill. But, as I said, if those trials succeed for the banks and they start using Ripple, that means that Ripple is actually the first currency which is really used in the real world. Well, obviously they are using the network right now, but that's also a great step. But as soon as they start to use the currency Ripple, that's a real game changer. So is this really possible? Well, if we take a look at the charts in 2017, for example, if we take Bitcoin and Ethereum, because these are the two biggest cryptocurrencies, you can see that 2017 is really the big boom year. because the years before, you can see, or even the start of 2017, nothing really changed. But then people got aware of the fact that cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology revolutionized the world. And then the huge spike came with Bitcoin and almost every other uh, currency we can see in the top 100 list. Actually, not much even were there at the beginning. Same with Ethereum, if we take a look at it, 2015, 2016, nothing really, and then suddenly, start of the year 2017, in the first three months, nothing really, but then people got aware and it spiked all the way up. So this is just the beginning year of cryptocurrencies. And if this goes on in 2018, I can see overall a market cap of around 5 trillion dollars 
And I think that's not even overstated at all. So, to reach $10, we would need $387 billion market cap, which would be possible if, as I said, these trials succeed and Ripple really is getting used. Then I can see Ripple getting $10. But the problem is that Ripple has a circulating supply of 39 billion right now, but has actually a total supply of more than twice as much. So I'm not actually sure how these Ripple are getting released, but if we take for example that all the Ripples are getting released until next year, so it would be 99 billion, 993 million, um, 93,880 times 10, would be a much higher number. This is more than all cryptocurrencies together. So we need to keep in mind that the circulating supply is in fact not the total supply and, it's, and this, that this has an effect of the price actually. So conclusion, well, if banks, if the trials succeed, and banks start using the Ripple network and the circulating supply stays approximately the same, I can see $10. On the other hand, if, well, if the trials fail, I can see Ripple going on a huge drop in market cap because people are now pumping this because this is happening and they want to the early investors of this, but if this fails, then I can see Ripple going all the way down to like number 10, 9, because it's still useful, but not as useful. And another case is if the circulating supply gets more and more, the price is also affected very much when we would need a much higher market cap. But I can say it's really a gamble because in every with every cryptocurrency nobody can predict the price price this is just my predictions so my prediction is in 2018 if these trials succeed we will see ripple at ten dollars or more and if these bank trials don't succeed we will not see ripple at ten dollars so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any comments, just leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them. Feel free to leave a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.